Well, welcome back with the cost of apartment rentals constantly on the rise here in South Florida. Absolutely. More and more people are looking into whether it's better to just venture out, try to buy their first home or if they want to try to keep renting. Seth Mansfield joining us now, your realty expert. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks with for us. having me, Farron. Yeah. Happy to be here today. Good. So break down for us, people that are curious, what is exactly the current status of the housing market and where do you see it going? Well, the market's still hot. It's been hot for quite some time and there's no indication of that stopping. Um, it's not as it's not rising as rapidly as it was in years past. So we're looking at about a 5% increase in home values in the past year. Compare that to 2016 to 2017, where we saw single family homes increase by as much as 14% in that 12 month span. Um, a lot of that has to do with mortgage rates, which are rising pretty rapidly. And so that's slowing the increase of home values down a bit, but they're still jumping up. So we're looking at about five month absorption right now, which is a measuring stick for how long a house sits on the market. Anything under six months is considered a seller's market, but with mortgage rates going up, it's still very prudent of a buyer to buy now. So we got a lot going on right now, but what is uh, your best piece of advice maybe for the first time home buyers that are out there listening, watching right now? Make a move. Jump in while you can. As I just mentioned, mortgage rates are going up and they're going to continue to go up. So, for example, let's look at a $200,000 home 12 months ago versus today. 12 months ago, you would have gotten that home for $200,000 at 3.97%. Based on the current appreciation and mortgage rate increases, that same home would be 210 at 4.58% now. That might not sound like much, but that's about $120 a month difference on your mortgage payment. We're looking at the same increase in the next 12 months. So if you're thinking about buying, go ahead and do it. Okay, so real quick, looking here at South Florida specifically, what are some of the places that you would tell first time home buyers, maybe a millennial, someone that's younger to try to bucks. look? Yeah, right? Well, the beautiful thing about South Florida is there's options everywhere. And um, it, it's all budget dependent and it's all dependent on what you want out of a home. You know, if you're looking for condo living, there's options for you all over downtown. If you're looking for single family homes, you'll have some better luck in South Palm Beach County, perhaps Boynton, Lake Worth. And if you're looking for a quad or a townhouse, then there's options in North County, Palm Beach Gardens, Jupiter. You really have options everywhere. It just depends on what you want and what you can spend. I like the sound of that. All right, Seth, thank you so much again for being with us Thanks here today. Thanks for having me, Farron. Yeah, a lot of other things.